guys, welcome back to the 411 on Tech. This week we have a short tutorial for you. We're going to show you how to install a third party launcher on the Nvidia Shield TV. The most recent update brings ads to the home screen and for many people, including us, this hasn't been a welcomed addition. So one of the ways you can get rid of the ads is to install a third party launcher. Third party launchers also allow for a more customized experience and they allow you to sideload other apps that aren't available on the Google Play Store. So stick around and we'll show you how to get this installed right after this. Okay guys, we're gonna get our Nvidia Shield TV ready. So you're gonna to go to settings, then you're gonna go down to device preferences. After that, we click about, then we're gonna go down to build. And you're gonna click, uh, hit your select button a number of times until it says you are now a developer. So now you're a developer. Now we're gonna go down to developer options. I'm gonna turn on network debugging and right here you want to note your IP and the port you're going to need this for later so note that next we're going to go on to the PC and get that ready by downloading the SDK platform tools which is the Android SDK platform tools. We're going to need to download that on our Windows 10 PC. Now that we've downloaded the Android SDK platform tools, now we're going to extract it. You want to make sure you put it in a place where you know where it is because you'll need this location for later. And if you notice inside here, there's a platform tools folder. And inside the platform tools, there's going to be the Android debug bridge. We're going to use that executable to run a number of commands to remove the Android TV home launcher. Now back on the Nvidia Shield TV, we're going to download our launcher, third party launcher of choice. We went with Sideload Channel Launcher 3. We did some research and we found this one to be a pretty recommended one and we like the customization we're going to be able to, to get with it down the line. So we're going to the Google Play Store and we're downloading that. And now it does cost, it's uh, $349 as you can see. So it's not free but again we mentioned it was, it's been one that's uh, a pretty rated pretty highly so we want that one. But there are other options that are out there that are free so you don't have to go with a, uh, a launcher that you have to pay for. Now Michelle's going to talk about replacing Android TV Home Launcher in the next segment. So in order to connect to our Nvidia Shield TV and disable Android TV Home Launcher, we need to open up a PowerShell and use the Android Debug Bridge, which was part of that Android SDK Platform Tools package we downloaded earlier. Now we initially tried to set up an environment variable, but that didn't quite work out, so you'll see here that we just go to the path of the ADB executable and drag it over and then we'll go ahead and issue our commands. So first we want to go ahead and connect and that IP address of your Nvidia Shield that we told you to know earlier, you go ahead and type that in. Now at first it won't connect, you'll need to go back over to the Nvidia Shield and you should see a pop-up that says allow network debugging. You want to go ahead and click OK and then head back to your PC and issue the same command again to ensure it's connected. Now you'll go ahead and issue the following command to disable the Android TV Home Launcher.
And while we're here, if you want widgets on your home screen, you can enable those with the following command. Now with that done, we're going to head back over to the NVIDIA Shield and hit the home button. Now you should see the new launcher and no more pesky ads. This is the default look, but you can customize pretty much anything on here. Also, as you can see, you can still easily access your Android TV settings. Here is a look at some of the settings you can change with Psy Load Channel Launcher 3. And here is a look at how to add a widget. But that's it guys, we hope this helped, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.